Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the article that I wrote uh, and following up on it. Um, Fabric killed the Power BI star. Um, so I published this yesterday, and it it kind of blew up uh, in a way I was not expecting. Um, it's received like about thirty thousand impressions, and uh, the comment section uh, literally goes on for for forever. So still scrolling, <laughs> scrolling. I mean, literally, it just keeps going. Um, so I thanks for everybody for uh, for uh, taking a look at that article. I uh, hope you enjoyed reading it. Um, it expresses a view. It expresses my view of things. Uh, apparently, some people agree, but some people did not agree. Um, and they were like, "Well, yeah, you know, we don't, you know, there's no evidence." And I think it's a. And in if you haven't read the article, let's back up. Um, if you haven't read the in summary, what it says is basically that the same thing that happened with Tableau when Snowflake bought Tableau and basically gutted it, and then Tableau became kind of a shadow of its former self. It didn't get any new features or functionality. It just became part of the closed Salesforce ecosystem platform. That essentially the same thing is going on with Power BI and Fabric. It's the same um, where essentially all the development effort, everything's being put into Fabric and Power BI is just sitting off here. It's being forgotten um, and really no new functionality or features and that sort of really coming to the product. Um, so that in a nutshell, but go read the article. Tell me what you think. Um, always appreciate people's feedback on it. Always appreciate open dialogue on things like this. Um, but so one of the complaints that came back or criticisms, I guess you could say, is that, well, it's, you know, I disagree with you 100 percent. You know, we want more preview features in the product and there should be more preview features going out, um, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, basically and it, essentially saying that what I was saying in the in article is inaccurate. Or it's portraying it inaccurately. And so, you know, this is just an article that I wrote. You know, I've been thinking about writing this article for about oh, three, four months now and finally kind of congealed around you know, um, how I wanted to say it um, and got the article out. Um, and but, you know, it's more based on gut feeling, um, just what I'm seeing, you know, in the monthly updates and as things are coming out. So, you know, when there's a, a, a disagreement, right, we're allowed to disagree as adults. So when there's a disagreement, you know, how do we solve those kinds of things? Well, let's let we're data people. Let's let the data say something about it. So what does the data say? That's what I figured I'd try within this video. So where did I get the data? Well, the starting point was here. It's a it's an archive of all of the all of the features, you know, basically every you know monthly update that comes out, they basically log everything here. Um, that's being, you know, hey, there's this is new and this new and this is in preview now and this has been GA'd and all of that. So this was kind of the starting point, but I did, you know, so I, I spent hours yesterday um, on this, uh, going through all this and having to cross check it with every single actual Power BI desktop update that, you know, that is out there. Okay. Which is a real chore because whoever puts this together is terrible at their job. Um, so there's a lot of these where if you like, you try to follow the blog link, it takes you to like a completely different month's update. Um, it's, it's tragic. Um, just so it's easier to just kind of go out here and follow the pattern and like, oh, okay, you know, May 2023, I can do, you know, April 2023. I mean, it's that bad. It's that bad uh, that you can just better do it just this way. So anyway, if you're out there, person that puts this together, do a better job, please, because you're terrible. Um, anyway, that's not the point of this video. So what I did was I, through hours and hours of manual effort, copying and pasting into an Excel spreadsheet, um, and I put this together. So I put this data set together, which is, I just made it the first of the month and goes all the way back to 2019. I think about extending it back further, but the data gets a little, starts to get a little wonky the older it gets. Um, and this is, this is by no means a perfect data set by any stretch of the imagination. Um, again, I put it together manually, tried to be as careful as I could uh, in putting it together. Um, there's, you know, some wonkiness in terms of like back in 2019, they weren't really tracking mobile or uh, tracking developer updates really um, that I could ever find in there or paginated reports for that matter. Um, so there's a little bit of that kind of wonkiness that goes in, but this is the best data I have. Um, and so I put together and so you can see here, I'm tracking whether or not it's a preview feature or tagged as a preview feature or not, right? And whether it's tagged as a, that it's, it was a preview feature, now it's GA, 
And then I also have this one here in terms of, you know, whether it's a fabric feature, because as you get into 2023, like there's some things that are like, oh, you know, they're, it's a feature only because it, fabric exists now. It's like, you know, oh, there's a lake house connector now. Oh, there's, you know, what, there's a fabric data warehouse connector. Well, obviously there's going to be those things. You just came out with fabric has nothing to do with Power BI. Anyway, so I flagged those as well. Um, and, you know, I'm going to run through my analysis, but this report and the underlying Excel spreadsheet I'll make available on the Microsoft Get, Hates Greg GitHub channel, and you can check it out for yourself. Um, but I put this together specifically with the concept around, hey, can I answer the question? Is it that there's more preview features coming out um, or is it because that, or is it that there's the same number of preview feature, features coming out, but nothing's getting GA? Right. That was kind of the, the original concept for putting this all together. Um, and you'll notice, you know, uh, speaking to a couple video, a few videos ago or my last video, um, it's a single table data model. Why? Because I followed Deckler's maximum and I didn't need to be any more complicated than that. So, all right, let's take a look at. It. Um, so this I'm just doing a distinct count. Um, I've got some other stuff here. We're going to focus on this right here. This is just more for I could explore the data. I've got a lot more exploring of this data to do, um, but I think this tells a story here, and I'm going to walk through the story. Um, so as you can see, in terms of the count of the updates, and again, it's a is a distinct count, distinct count. Um, probably in following the new book that I have on visualizations, which I'm not following here. Um, I should have made that more clear, but I'll, I'll get there. Um, as you can see, I think that the number of updates largely has remained kind of the same. Um, now, it sort of hit a peak in 2021, right? And it, it was, you know, a little bit off in 2020. 2019 was 235 um, updates that were tracked. Um, 2022 was 231, 222, 2022, and 20, 2023. Now, the interesting thing in here is 2024 is only 65 updates uh, for Power BI. Um, so, you know, it's definitely, you can see it's trending down, but it's, you know, it's a little bit below what it was in 2019, above what it was in 2020, definitely not what it was in 2021. Um, but if you see this 65 here, we're through four, four months of the year. And yes, there is no January update. Um, but if you multiply this number by three, right, you're going to get about 190 or so. So it's definitely trending, I think, down. Um, and if you're appalled by me multiplying by three when there was no January update, if you notice this down here, if you actually go through February, March, April, May, June, that accounts for more than half of the updates that come out uh, within a year. Um, so these are the distinct count through in these months over all years. OK, so in general, in a year, over half. So this adds up to about like 723 or something like that. This adds up to like 612, right? So it's it's significantly more than half come out in the first half of the year, uh, calendar year the last half of Microsoft's fiscal year. OK, and then as you can see here, everybody takes vacation at Microsoft. Um, if they, you know, met their, you know, goals, you know, if they didn't meet their goals, they're out finding a new job. And uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, I think that's kind of important to note here. So that's why I take this number multiplied by three and, you know, less than I would say, say the average. Um, but I've got these filters here. So if I take out the fabric ones, like here, these are the obvious ones that, yeah, we had to have these connectors come out for fabric. Oh, wrong ones. No. So it gets even worse. So this drops below 200. You know, this drops just one off, uh, 64. Um, but so let's now test the hypothesis, right? Let's test the hypothesis that there are more things going into preview. Okay, so I'm going to select preview, yes. Okay, so if we notice here, 28, 32, 51 things went into preview in 2021. And 2022, 20, you know, 22 things came out in preview, um, 27. So none of this is, and if we multiply this by three, we get about 33, which is going to fall right somewhere along the lines of 2020. So I can't say that, you know, in terms of you know, looking at standard deviations and blah, 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 but, you know, I can't say that there's more preview features coming out now than previously. Right, I'm just by eyeballing the numbers here. That seems pretty obvious to me. So I don't think that 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 the numbers, the data, support the hypothesis that oh, Microsoft's just putting more stuff into preview, unless you count all of Fabric. <laughs> we won't go there. Um, so um, let's so you know so okay. So I don't think that that's supported. But now look what happens if I so Fabric Fabric is 
the previews i want preview yeah okay fabric no preview turn that off and so now look what happens when i go to ga and i select yes 24 things went into ga in 2019 25 in 2020 21 in 2021 only 12 in 2022 it really took a nosedive in 2022 only 11 in 2023 and only two so far this year where if again if i multiply it by three i'm only going to get six ga features for power bi this year um terrible right really fall off and so the interesting thing about this in and it's is that in 2022 if you open this up eight of the 12 items came out in the first half of the year then in the latter last half of the year, June, July, September, October, only four items what actually went into GA. Now, what do you suppose was happening in 2022, the last half of the year? Well, I can tell you that as an MVP at that time, that I may or may not have been testing a preview product in a private preview that wasn't named Fabric, but was named something else, but ended up being Fabric. So things really fell off. So I, I think this simple analysis, I believe, supports the narrative that I gave in Fabric Killed the Power BI Star, and that all of the resources and effort are being thrown into Fabric and not Power BI. And that's why the features that are going into GA in Power BI have really slackened off. It's not that there's more preview features. It's the same number of preview features. It's just... Since 2022, 2023, it is just it's half of the 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 features are getting into GA, right? So that's my follow up. You know, again, appreciate any feedback that people want to give me. I'll make this stuff available. You can get into the nitty gritty and you know figure out you know and do your own analysis of it. Uh, if you want to contradict, you know, what I'm the what I'm saying here, feel free. Uh, just back it up with evidence. That's really all I had for that for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.